are the 144,000 sealed of God referred to the book of Revelation? And what is their purpose? The group of 144,000 appears numerically in two points of Revelation. Revelation 7, chapters 1 to 8 and 14, 1 to 15. In the first we read the following. And after that, they saw four angels standing in the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, so that no wind would blow on the earth or on the sea or on any tree. And they saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun, having the seal of the living God, without sealing the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard a number of the sealed, 144,000 sealed out of all the tribes of Israel. And then he mentions 12 tribes of Israel, 12,000 sealed by each tribe. 12 by 12,000 equals 144,000. Revelation 14 chapters 1 to 5. And they saw and behold the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with it 144,000, you have his name and the name of the Father, his Father written on their foreheads. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. They have the name of the Father written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of thunder. And I heard the voice as guitarists playing in their guitars. And let there be a new ode before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no one could learn the ode unless the 144,000 brought from the earth. These are not infected after women. They are virgins. These are the followers of the Lamb wherever he belonged. These were brought, bought by men from the beginning of God and the Lamb, and no lie was found in their mouth. They are Israelites. The first observation is that the 144,000 are Israelites and even divided from 12,000 in each tribe of Israel. However, although he says, of all the tribes of Israel, in fact the tribe of Dan is missing. And in its place there is the tribe of Joseph, separate from the tribe of Manasseh. Or that he was the son of Joseph along with Ephraim, which is not mentioned here. There's also the tribe of Levi, a tribe that was not always mentioned in the Old Testament separately, since the Levites are scattered, were scattered as priests among the other tribes. Here the tribe of Levi is mentioned separately because in the Christian church all Christians are kingdom priesthoods, 1 Peter 2, 5, 5, and therefore do not have the Levitical priesthood. For the lack of the tribe of Dan, we could think of some reasons. One of them is that it is possible that in this future time mentioned by the prophecy, the tribe of Dan will not have been saved, but it seems more probable that because the Antichrist will come from this tribe of Dan, as, as prophesied, this race will follow him in its entirety, and so there will not be enough Christians from this race, and there will be, as there will be from the other tribes. So the argument of uh, I'm translating this from Greek, so please, okay, race, just put in tribe for that. Okay, sorry. So the argument of some circles is not valid. Since the Dan tribe is missing, supposedly the 144,000 are not literally Israelites, but the whole spiritual Israel, the new church of Christ. That is the church, the body of Christ on earth. After all, the church does not have 12 tribes. What is interesting here is that when the 144,000 are sealed, they have on their foreheads the name of Jesus Christ, but also the name of the Father. This obviously means that they are not merely witnesses of Christ. Acts 1.8, like the national Christians, 
but also witnesses of the Father, Isaiah 40, uh, chapter 43, verse 10, whom the Jews acknowledge, though they deny the Son, and of whom they can testify of their wonderful story. Another reason that makes us believe that these are natural Israelites is that from Revelation 7, 9 onwards, another group appears, but it comes from all nations. Of the 144,000 were the whole church, they would not be opposed to the Gentiles who are also members of the church. The fact that the 144,000 are literally Israelites is the natural and effortless interpretation of Revelation 7, and we must accept that. But if one has evidence and not conjecture, conjecture that this vision is fulfilled in another way, it would be interesting to see as Bible prophecies often have more than one fulfillment. The number 144,000? It would be somewhat difficult for the faithful of Israel to be exactly that, and in fact exactly 12,000 from every tribe of Israel. This number is obviously symbolic, both for the tribes of Israel and for the number sealed of each tribe. The number 12 is a sacred number in the Bible, 12 tribes, 12 apostles, 12 stars, etc. 12,000 is created from 12 times 1,000, where 1,000 symbolizes a large number, a crowd, but it's not as much as the myriad. Now, multiplying by three symbolic numbers, 12 times 12 times 1,000, we can have a fact. We come to the 144,000. Some say that because John says, John who wrote the, the uh, book of Revelation, Apocalypse, and I heard the number of those sealed. It means that there were literally so many as in fact they are compared to an innumerable crowd. However, they themselves claim that the troops mentioned, the groups mentioned in 9 and 16 of two myriads of myriads are a symbolic number and, and John says here, and I heard their number, another example of rough and arbitrary interpretation. As for the confrontation with an innumerable mob, that is not done to show that the number is literal, but to show that the faithful in all nations will be innumerable, while in Israel, which was once a people of God, by election, by grace, by election, grace event, as always happens. Romans 11.5, and of course the number 144,000 is a relatively small, symbolic and perhaps appropriate number, which shows that only a few will then believe in comparison with the whole people as the beginning of Israel. Revelation 14.9. This is evidence from a parallel vision that the prophet Ezekiah saw on the same subject and is described in Ezekiel 9, verse 1 to 11. The preceding chapter describes the abominations that the people of Israel committed in order for God to intervene. And let's look at excerpts from this parallel vision about 144,000, Ezekiel 9, 1 to 11. And he cried out in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Let the men that are against the city come near, every one that hath the weapon of destruction in his hand. And behold, six men came from the street of the highest gate that looked towards the north, every man having his weapon of destruction in his hand, and in the midst of them as a man clothed in linen with a, uh, a squid secretary in his loins, and they that they stood by the altar of bronze. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the city, even unto Jerusalem, and let us make a mark upon the foreheads of the men, and upon them that mourn and howl forever, and abominations that are done in the midst thereof, and they said to the others, Listen to me, go through the city after that and fight, and let not your eye glaze over, and do not pity. Elder, young, virgin, infants, women, you kill to the point of extinction, but to the man from whom the point is, do not approach, that the mark is, the mark of, the God, of God, do not approach. And you started from my you will start from my sanctuary, and they flew into the city and said, um, Lord God, Will you utterly destroy the remnant of Israel pouring out your wrath on Jerusalem? In the vision, 
we see again that the 144,000 are Israelites and in fact the inhabitants of Jerusalem in a time of lawlessness of the city. This is the rest, quote unquote, that will remain in it, at the remainder that is, that will remain in it after the judgment of God for the iniquities of the city. These are the same sealed ones we saw in Revelation as we observed the obvious similarities. For example, one, these are also Israelites here. Two, we also have someone here who notes on their foreheads in view of a conviction. Three, and here the catastrophe waits until the sealing is over to manifest. The sealing of the elect. But what is the forehead sealing, the seal on the forehead? This act, reminiscent of the old Eastern custom of uh, chrismation during baptism, engraving the seal on the forehead of his uh, servant, the servant of, Gra of God, of Christ. This is a form of uh, the cross on the forehead as a sign of his ownership over him. Still in Hellenistic times, it was done as a sign of ownership of God, Isaiah 44. Also, the mark on the door of the Israelites that had saved them from the exterminating angel in Egypt. The blood, the mark of the blood on the door of the uh, lentil and posts. In the same way, this point will save 144,000 from disaster. It's interesting that in Ezekiel 9.4, quote, we made a mark on the foreheads of men, and quote, the Hebrew text says about the mark, tav, meaning the tav was the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is exactly uh, the mark of a cross. Tau, tav, tav in Greek means cross, a T, the letter T. This is the, uh, the last letter of the then Hebrew alphabet and originally had the shape of a cross. It was the simplest letter of the alphabet and was used as a common sign, as a seal, as a mark, and as a signature of the letters. The cross, however, is also the seal given to Christians at Christ at uh, baptism as a seal of the Holy Spirit. It is clear then that the 144,000 are sealed in their baptism with the mark, which is the tav or the letter tau of the Hebrew uh, alphabet, meaning the cross. It's clear then that the 144,000 are sealed at their baptism with the cross of the mystery of Christ. So for this anointing, we also read in the verses Ephesians 1.13 and 2 Corinthians 1 and uh, 1 John 2. Finally, this seal is the opposite of what the Antichrist will give to his own believers who will live in the time of the 144,000. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.